My name is Tyler Fowler and this is Impact 55. Influence, meaning, passion, achievement, character, trajectory, Impact 55. I'm a 12th grader at Lawrence High School, senior uh, point guard for the basketball team, varsity, and I like to read and watch anime. So I transferred back to Lawrence uh, I say junior year, the beginning of junior year, I was at Legacy, spent two years up there. But I was in the district from 4K to 8th grade at Acre Tavern. And like, I think I transferred back because I missed like the home feeling Lawrence brought. Like, it's like a family, they allow you to be yourself more, it's more diverse here. So I started basketball when I was, I want to say, six, around like, like first, second grade. Uh, now, I'm, as you can see, I don't know if I can, I'm short. I've always been like shorter than most people, most uh, players. But that encouraged me to keep playing, to like prove that regardless of my height, that I can, you know, make something out of it. So, seventh grade, played Vickers Tavern. Coach Langford, he basically taught me really how to like be a pass first point guard, because I was trying to, I was small, but I was trying to like shoot a lot, shoot threes and stuff. He told me how to basically like slow it down a little bit. As at a young age, like that helped me. So going into eighth grade, Coach Dawkins, uh, I was I had a teammate Mason Aiken. He wanted me and Mason to come up play like C team or JV eighth grade, but Coach didn't allow it. He wanted us to stay back middle school to like enjoy that, and I understand that. So eleventh grade, basketball season was rolling in, and I had just talked to Coach Dawkins during summer going into eleventh grade about me transferring. My mom did say no at first, but you know, prayed about it, talked to God about it, talked to Coach Met, Coach Flood, and before you knew it, transferred back down here. The first year coming back, I felt great, honestly. Like being back with a lot of friends and family made me very comfortable, made me feel like I can be myself around, around the uh, school. And then it just gave me confidence going to the basketball season. Uh, last year for me, I was new to like, even though I've known people, I was new to the uh, program, the basketball program. So I had to really fit my way in and like learn how to play with my teammates because I didn't really play with them before. And we ended up having, we had a losing record, but we also had a lot of learning though. That's like, I say strengthen us for this season and handling adversity the way we've been handling it. And, um, so playing for Lawrence again really made me feel like I was coming back home, which I was, you know, for like what, eight years at Higger Tavern. And then I left, so I feel like coming back, that was just, Amazing that I could try to help my team win and possibly go to the playoffs and win something there. What Coach Flood has taught me is how to push through adversity, how to really become like a man, more so than become like a basketball player. He always used the like word, or not word, but phrase like, what does it do for us or him if we win a lot of games and then graduate and we ain't got nothing else to like amount for in life. So he really tried to push us to be more so great individuals and great people in our community in the school before basketball players. And I just like that he actually cares about us after basketball because it's not going to be here forever. Plans after graduation, want to go to a four-year college and become a traveling nurse. Really want to move to Charlotte. I like downtown down there in like a high rise or something. Once I get my money settled with from nursing and traveling, hopefully start a family and then settle down. I want to give a shout out to my Dukes. Uh, my basketball team, my basketball teammates, uh, Coach Flood. I'm gonna shout out uh, Gear Up. I'm gonna shout out Gear Up. Yeah. Uh, biggest lesson I learned, probably patience. You not gonna always have the same journey as someone else. Some others might have like something going for them early, at an early stage, but you just gotta keep your head up and keep grinding. And like once you get older and you actually mature, then you actually know what you want to do, and you can just like give it all. To, I, me personally, I give it all to God, and then just go with what he told me to do. I just try to make my life what he would want his life to like look like on earth, if that makes sense. My name is Tyler Fowler, and thank you, District 55, for making an impact.